using axioms to simplify Boolean expressions would be too tedious. However, we can use axioms to derive theorems. The derived theorems can then be used to simplify Boolean expressions. Let's have a look at a typical theorem. A or A and B. Now that will reduce to A. Let's prove it. Now we should know that A is the same as A and 1, which is an example of an axiom. If I substitute that in for the A, we get A and 1 or A and B. Now I can take the A outside of the brackets, and that's through distributive laws. And in the brackets, we can now say we got 1 or B, which gives us 1. That's another axiom. So this will reduce to A and 1, which we know will become A, because A and 1 is the same as A. Therefore, we can prove that A or A and B equals A. Let's look at another example. Here we can see we can replace A with A and 1. Then we can write the remaining min terms down. Then using the distributive law, we can take the A outside of the brackets as shown here. Within the brackets, we can see there is a 1 present. Now this means that the entire content of the brackets can be replaced by 1. So we get A and 1 because the A comes down. Therefore, we have A, because we have an axiom which tells us that A and 1 is always A. Therefore, F, for all of this expression here, we can see minimises to just A. We have just proved that the above reduces to A. Now, there's a shortcut memory aid for this. Watch below. When we have a variable by itself, as here with a, that's enough to knock out every min term that contains the a, giving us, in this case, the result of a. Let's have a look at another example. Here's a by itself, so it'll knock all of those out, giving us f is a. Quite straightforward. Here's another example. We've got a by itself, so it knocks them out. Therefore, we have f is a in this case as well. In this example, we have b by itself. That will knock these two out because they contain the variable b, leaving us with b or a and c as the result. Now, in this example, we can see we have not c by itself, which will knock those two out because they both contain the not c, leaving us with b and d or the not c 